All right, folks, we are back with some more Half-Life 2. Uh, we're just about ready to try out uh, Dr. Kleiner's homemade teleporter. Gordon, why don't you position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my work? Isaac, are you there? Yes, there yes, Eli. Eli Vance. Have a hold up on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Uh, that's not who I think it is, is it? Indeed it is, and it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. The massless field flux should self-limit, and I've clamped the manifold parameters to base and LT orbifold. Hilbert inclusive. You might recognize that sound effect from Half-Life 1. That's what you said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. Initializing in three, two, one. No, fiddlesticks. What now? Uh, Doctor, the plug. Uh, dear me, you're right. There we go. Yeah, so these plug things, we saw them in Portal. You gonna uh, let Gordon throw the switch? Like I said, they're a reused Half-Life asset. Gordon? Right ahead. And throw this lever here. Very good. Final sequence. Commencing now. I can't look. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, well, did it work? See for yourself. Hey, Doc. Oh, Look at that. Goodness. System works. My relief is when you work with the out. system. Fantastic work, is it? Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak yes. To you again in able a assistant. I, I did the heavy job, lifting. Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. Oh, you know All it. right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli's. And not a moment too soon. Yep. Went, uh, spent eight years at MIT just to be able to throw a switch and push a card into a laser beam. Excellent. Initializing in three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'd be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. And I see, if they had just took... Ten seconds. Ten seconds less to... There's a crow there. What's going on, Judith? I'm not sure. It seems to be some kind of interference. Gordon, stay put. We'll get you out of there. Something is drawing him away. And we end up right in Dr. Breen's office. How did you get in here? Hey, take this back. I'm getting him out of there. Can it just wait in the field? It will peel you apart! Just lost Gordon. What's going on? I wish I knew. I'm encountering unexpected interference. Don't worry, Gordon. Well, there he is! Oh, we're losing it again. The more I saw, I'm all but certain it was Gordon Freeman. Yeah, if you saw him. He didn't come through. Then where is he? Behind you. <laughs> shut it down, shut it down. Gordon, you must get out of here. Get down out of sight. I'll come find you. So, yeah. The whole thing got busted because of uh, Kleiner's pet head crab. And like I said, if they had just spent ten less seconds saying goodbye, um, would have been all good. But... <laughs> No, we have to have a, oh, bon voyage, good luck out there. Oh, ba -da -ba -da -ba. Um, I don't know about uh, you, but if I was Dr. Breen and some weirdo in a bright-ass orange metal hazard suit suddenly appeared in my office, I'd be freaking the fuck out. And then he disappeared, and then he reappeared again, like, I would be freaking the fuck out. That's exactly what he did, though. He called up the, uh, the Combine overworld and was like, whoa. Dude, it's Gordon Freeman. Hey, Gordon! Hello. The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. 
take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's, it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it. Well, you can kind of see the Citadel in the background, like, opening up and transforming, and uh, you can zoom in, and you can see all of these things just pouring out of it. Those are those are the camera drones being sent out to find us, because uh, Dr. Breen is keenly aware of who we are and what we were able to do on Zen, and uh, surmises that, well, it'll probably be a thorn in the combine side, so we gotta, we gotta nip this in the butt. Um... So they are mobilizing the entirety of their forces against us. So, okay. come here. We can smash that, it gives us a little suit power. Uh, nothing to do right now except run, so we'll do so. We also have a sprint, so if we press shift we will sprint. We have auxiliary power down there that is used up as we sprint. It's also used up when we use a flashlight or when we go underwater. So auxiliary power is usually just used for everything. You know, just kind of make our way uh, over. There's some health there if we got really shot up, but we're totally fine. And there's a flashlight. Pretty much the same. And this will be Root Canal is the chapter name health, but we don't need it. And we'll just... Oh, well, there's a gun now. They're already looking for me. Um, you may have noticed that his stun stick was laying on the ground, but instead of picking it up, it just gave a suit energy. Yeah, we can't actually pick that up. But it is an actual available asset in the game. Um, if you were to play... Why in the hell is that centered? What the? All right, that's weird. The weapon UI is like centered. I don't recall it being centered. Maybe I'm just going crazy because I played Half-Life 1 so much. I don't know. Um, you can hear the uh, Overwatch voice uh, calling in the uh, location of the down down CDs. And the, the, the flatline sound whenever you kill them is, is really just iconic, great touch. Oh yeah, the stun stick. Um, there's a train coming. Um, you can see them still, still pouring out, searching for us. Um, what was I talking about? Fuck. What was I talking about? Um. I have no idea what I was talking about. Um. Oh, yeah, 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 the stun stick. That's right, that's right. Uh, so you never get it in the uh, in the in the in the story. Uh, here's a nice little thing. So this lambda thing kind of denotes a supply cache. So there's supplies there that we can pick up. There's like I don't know, 43, 45 of them, 40 something of them. And um, there's an achievement for getting all of them. Um, I don't think I ever really bothered to get it because I never really felt the need to perfectly capable of beating the game without finding them. Um, no point in shooting any of those people, they'll just respawn endlessly. Uh, another cache here. You constantly hear the Overwatch voice in the background, which is just, it just really adds to the uh, uh, environment. There is fall damage here. Exploding barrel shit out of here. Um, I 
keep getting distracted about the stupid ass stun baton. <laughs> uh, there are mods that add it as a weapon um, that you can use, but we're not playing with any mods. The game's fine as it is. Um, but it is an official like asset that can be used because um, in Half-Life Deathmatch, uh, Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, that is, um, the uh, you can play as a, a CP or a uh, you know, regular human, and the um, well not CP, but you can play as a combine, either a CP or a soldier or whatever, and uh, they get the uh, stun baton uh, for their melee weapon instead of a crowbar. Um, but they uh, rightly rightly chose that why do you need two melee weapons um because again you know like in opposing force we had the knife and the wrench and it's like well, what the hell do we need both of these for um anyway we're gonna hop down here if you look at the what all right well that tv is supposed to be on the table you're not the first to come through here this is the same the combined reckoning has come for the Underground Railroad. Main station's right around the corner. They'll get you started on the right foot. Meanwhile, let my Vortigaunt friend here give you a jolt to get you going. But be careful now. We really can't afford to get... No if we had less suit power, it would have charged here. up our it's suit. Bad news for the whole um, but this TV is supposed to be sitting... Up Hit the road, Jack. on that table, and uh, if you walk in there, uh, you, the board got powering it. You can see the Gmail on the screen. Um, uh, we put this in the fire. It'll actually get in the fire. It'll actually break down. Fun. Um. Yes, now as we go through this, there won't be any, any like, uh, areas where it's like Zen terraformed, kind of like uh, in Alex. Um, also, the bird is about to have a very bad day. Chomp. <laughs> um, you see, look, like, this... That barnacle? It doesn't bother me. It doesn't freak me out at all. Half-Life Alex? Oh no. Those things are terrifying. Um. I can see a bunch of people running away and getting gunned down. And, uh, yep, they're dead. Underground Railroad Station uh, that was raided by the Combine. Um. Socio behavior level one. You can see it also takes a lot more bullets to uh, kill the barnacles, but yeah, that's fine. Ammo's a lot more easy to get in Half Life 2 than in Half Life Alex.
Sword. Over Sarah. here! Keep going, friend. That station was raided, but there's others up ahead. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna now, stay here in case any others come through. That's nice. Now, this area was also uh, a canal, so there used to be water flowing through here. Um, but the combine, another thing which they do, is they strip the resources from the planets that they conquer. So they've been draining the water and uh, other natural resources from the planet. So that's why all the canals are empty now. They're going to throw some explosive barrels down here. Which will blow open the, uh... The vent. Uh, so the, the whole drained sea levels is, uh, you, know, you can see right here again. But it, it'll be more readily apparent later on, um, as well. Uh, the ragdolls are, uh, just fantastic. Can't hit them while they're in that animation. Stand there if I was you guys. Yep, Overwatch is gonna have a busy day today. here. Um, that's fine. It's the old exploding barrel trick. Except in this case, the uh, tentacles, they don't actually, I should call them tentacles, the barnacles don't eat the barrels and cause it to explode like an Alex. Um, you actually have to shoot them to get them to explode in this one. This way, you can see the bullets streaking through the water. It's a nice touch. And we'll just swim and swim and swim. And go this way. Stop it. <laughs> and head in here and again this is Valve saying hey man check out our sweet physics engine uh, so we gotta get up there and we do that by uh, you doing the seesaw so you see we can do like that we just gotta get uh, enough of these cinder blocks and uh, slap them on there to weigh down this end Which again, at the time, in 2004, it was like, mind blown, holy shit. Now it's kind of like, wow, this is kind of annoying. <laughs> but, like I said, back in the day, like no other games were doing this kind of stuff. And now we have it sufficiently weighted. We can just completely fail to jump. That's good. Glad that, that, that they, uh, you know, ported that feature over from um, Gold Source, which was the uh, Half-Life 1 engine. Um, we have this lovely helicopter, which we are going to run away from. Somehow it got over there. I'm not sure how, but it got over there. Luckily, it's a very inaccurate gun. It kind of sprays out everywhere. I mean, it still hurts, but you might also notice that the uh, bullets it's firing very similar to the bullets fired in from the uh, turrets in Portal. Okay, get some supplies, be on our way. Um, under here, there's really just health and stuff back there. We're full up, so we're all good. Hey, look at this, this dude's been absolutely turned into charcoal. 
some more tentacles, so we will deal with them the only way we know how. And uh, yeah, throwing other bits of garbage at them also works, just like in Alex. So, but no, no problem there. And open that up and get blasted some more. Just head back in. Should be encountering Yes. And another buddy. Get in here, hurry. Civil protection is on to us. We're tearing up the railroad, covering our tracks. Looks like you're gonna be the last one through. I'm glad you're not the guy they're looking for. Oh, <laughs> but I am the guy they're looking for. Sounds like they're calling in every seat. Now they're flooding the areas up ahead with man hats. You better get going before they sweep through here. Oh shit! Too late! And yep, man hacks. Which we saw these from Alex. That's a close call. Thanks for your help. Chat. Pretty similar. It isn't safe for you. I'll give you some supplies to keep you going, then you really gotta go. I already I already helped myself. Thank you, though. Um, so yeah, it, we saved the dude, but if we leave and then if we come back, uh, he'll be dead. More man hacks will have come and killed him. Um... There was, um, there was a cut content um, for uh, for Half-Life where they had, uh, the Combine had set up a Manhack Arcade. So essentially, um, citizens could uh, come and remote control the Manhacks as they killed their fellow, uh, fellow humans. Um, for entertainment. Um, children. Well, not children, but uh, in the in the cut content it showed you know children. But then I think that was before the uh, before they finalized the suppression field thing. Um, but yeah, they they cut that out. There was another. Another part of the game they cut out where it was like an atmosphere conversion thing or something where they were like uh, altering the weather and like replacing the oxygen with like, I don't know, some type of poison gas or something. Um, they cut that out as well. So this is just uh, purely, purely goodies. More supplies than we would ever know what to do with. I didn't quite catch what we were charged with yet. Um. A new gun right here. SMG. Also go in here. And uh, there'll be a zombie behind this box. Well, half of a zombie. Uh, we get some grenades. One whole grenade. But, you know, hey, it's something.
will die. to get some more oxygen if you need it, but we're fine. No problem. Yeah, those things don't do anything, they're just very annoying. Also another thing that I don't quite get um, continuity wise from what I've played of Alex so far and uh, Half-Life 2 ah. um, in Alex all of the uh, you know heavy duty guns are uh, gene locked. Genetically bonded to, you know, the Combine Soldier. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, yet, for whatever reason, they seem to have stopped doing that in Half-Life 2. Maybe there'll be an explanation in Alex. I don't know. Um... play with explosive barrels. Just head back down underground. familiar with the game or what, but, you know, like, all of this stuff just doesn't phase me at all. Well... Even though the environments and the enemies aren't anything new, it's just the ah, fuck. the way that they are presented is uh, just wild. There we go. I don't know if you get the full experience of watching. You know, if you get that full experience when you watch someone else uh, play it. So we gotta get the water level raised up, raised up. Uh, okay, there's a little vent or valve to do that right here. Side. And uh, to do that, 
Go down here and release all of this stuff. Probably go get some oxygen. Okay, I mean that should be fine. There we go. that sorely missed in Half-Life Alex. Here. Get some more supplies and then drop down here. And we get our nice radioactive gunk. Just gonna get some more stuff, except while we're all full up, but that's okay. Whoa. We jump over here, the solid parts are fine. Freeman, aren't you? Maybe. I got word you were coming. You got here at a bad time. Black Mesa East to Station 6. Do you read? Dr. Freeman is on his way down river. Lend him the airboat and give him all the help you can. Repeat, Gordon Freeman has returned. It is critical he reaches Black Mesa East. You better get going now. Yeah, so that was uh, Alex radioing ahead to tell them to uh, help us out. Um, so... Another thing they got here are these uh, equipment caches where they, they basically have unlimited ammo, so uh, it fills fills us up real good. Get out of here! Yeah, 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 we're going. Um, we'll get to the airboat and then we'll wrap it up, I think. Incoming! They're showing us! So another weapon the combine employ are uh, head crab rockets. Essentially, they load up a missile with uh, some head crabs and just blast it into whatever area that they want to uh, go after. So uh, yeah, I figure, well, a bunch of mindless zombies are easier to exterminate than people that you know consciously resist. This guy's in the process of being uh, zombified. Uh, kind of sucks to be him. Fuck! Stop jumping!
sparking cable. You can just zippity doo da right fast. And then they smack this down so that if we want, whoa, we can get molested by some head crabs. <laughs> if we want. Um, there's no real point in going back, but if we really wanted to, we could go get some ammo. Um, make our way through the electrified death trap. Oh god. Forgot about him. Uh, hazardous radiation was us stepping in the in the goop there. The liquidy part. Solid part's fine. Um, yeah, they just blast those in there willy-nilly. Get your Geiger counter going off. Hey, Dr. Freeman. I've been hoping you'd show up. Got this airboat all gassed up and ready to go. Yep, and it's you're... gonna be tough dodging civil protection out there in the open, but drive hard and you'll make it. Going you'll to find die. more help up at Station Seven, just a few bends up the river. It's the old red barn. Climb mm -hmm. on in, fire her up. I'll do that. Anyway, that's gonna be it for uh, this episode. So. Thank you all for watching, as always. Go ahead and get in the boat, Dr. Freeman. And we'll go ahead and get in the boat in the next one. So we'll see you then.